Good morning. Happy New Year. I went to bed my regular time last night, but boy, I could not go to sleep. And I'm not a stay up till midnight kind of person. But I was up last night and about 12.09, somebody started doing fireworks. Oh my goodness gracious. I had so much on my mind last night. I guess if you've seen any of my posts, you know I've been busy <laughs> trying, to, trying to do what's in my heart and my mind. I've been knocking on a lot of doors. Not literally, but sending out messages and following up leads, trying to share. That's the word, right? God asked me to share. And boy... I'm going to share every way I can. God is good, and the world needs to know that. So I'm going to do what I can in my little bloom where I'm planted. I saw that. I saw that uh, on a bulletin board way back when I was doing my student teaching, and I still remember that. Bloom where you're planted. Whatever God gives you to do, do it, and do it wholeheartedly. Yeah, follow the Lord the best way that you can. Knocking on a lot of doors. Made me think about the Lord. He's knocking on the door of our heart, isn't he? <clears throat> but he's a gentleman. He's going to wait until we invite him in. Revelation 3.20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Can you imagine sitting there around the table with the Lord having supper, just chatting, just talking, all the wisdom, all the love that would just come from him, how wonderful and comforting that would be. <clears throat> oh, but if the world would know about spending time with the Lord, all we have to do is invite him in. And Luke 11, 9, and 10 says, For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. But how do you know that an open door is from God? That takes prayer, doesn't it? The door that God opens will never contradict his word. God will never ask us to do something that doesn't follow the fruit of the Spirit. If we seek him, I think we will know which door is right. From praying, being in his word, asking him. And then we've got that old favorite, Romans 8, 28. <laughs> if we get it wrong, if our heart's in the right place, he'll work it out. Yep. The door that God opens will be accompanied by a confirmation you know sometimes I'm thinking Lord how do I know what you want me to say am I just making this stuff up is this is this you and I just get <laughs> like I'm getting it right now I just get this feeling I get a confirmation I kind of tear up a little bit <laughs> because <laughs> it's just real to me. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, God is real. It's not a figment of my imagination. It's real. And he speaks to my heart. And I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. And the door that God opens will require that we depend on him. 
I will say, only with God's help can I do this. And that is so true. This mission that he has put me on. All of you from all over the world <laughs> are listening to this little old grandma share what God places on my heart. You're so kind to me. And it's such a privilege to have the opportunity to share. It is. I'm, I'm honored. And um, Matthew 6.33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things, they shall be added to you. So that's the answer. Got a lot of doors to continue to knock on. And with every email or every time I reach out, I pray, God, if this is the, the right one, if this is the right contact to share your love with the world through the music that you've given to me, then I pray that I'll get a response. And there have been some responses. But I'm going to continue to put him first. We've got some good news. My husband and I crunched the numbers this morning and we've got a little bit over half of what we need to record to produce another song. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful for all of you that go to the Rocket Fuel page and help us out because we can't do it by ourselves. God's raised up a team, Project God Share. The song that I would like to share with you today is from Matthew 6.33, and I bet you know it. And as long as we follow His Word in our life, we will know which door to go through as long as we seek Him first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you allelu alleluia alleluia So as we start this new year, today is January 1st, 2024, let's go forth seeking Him first, and He will open the doors that He wants us to walk through, and we will carry His light everywhere we go. Let's change the world. Let's share God's light. I thank you for listening. I pray you have a blessed day. I will talk to you later.